This episode is brought to you by Huggies Little Movers. Huggies knows that babies come in all shapes and sizes, and your tushies do too. Huggies Little Movers is their best-fitting diaper ever with its curved and stretchy fit. Babies, no matter what kind of butt you've got, you'll feel comfy while your mushy little tushy wiggles and jiggles all around. Huggies Little Movers are curved with up to 12-hour protection against leaks. Get your baby butt in Huggies best-fitting diaper. Huggies Little Movers. We got you, baby. eBay Motors is here for the ride. Elbow grease and a whole lot of love transformed 100,000 miles and a body full of rust into a drive entirely its own. LED headlights, spoilers, whatever you need. eBay Motors has it at affordable prices. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride every time. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Thanks for listening to CarCast on Podcast One. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. And welcome to T-Pain's Nappy Boy Radio Podcast. The most fun you'll ever listen to while you're folding your clothes. Now let's get this straight. This is not your average podcast. T-Pain's Nappy Boy Radio is super fun, super crazy. It's pretty much an in-your-face conversation. That's the good thing about us. We don't do interviews. We do conversations. All of my guests, all of my co-hosts, we chill. We drink, we play games, we have the song of the week, we have the creative curse word of the week. As long as you're having fun as our guests. Speaking of guests, each week I'm going to go through my whole contact list and dive head first into the world of music, gaming, exotic cars, tech, strippers probably, doctors probably, probably strippers that are only stripping so they can pay for tuition to become a doctor. You never know. My wife is a certified bartender. She'll make you a drink while you're here. We'll get you drunk and make you play VR after. It's a lot going on, but that's what it's all about over here at T-Pain's Nappy Boy Radio Podcast. See you soon, baby! Hey guys, welcome to CarCast, brought to you by your friends at JB Weld. JB Weld is available at jbweld.com, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, Napa, O'Reilly, Amazon, Michaels, and more. And remember, JB Weld epoxy products are proudly made in the USA. It's JB Weld, world's strongest bond. All right, so what are we talking about in this show? Oh man, we're going to talk about some uh, some new things coming up from Shelby American, the uh, trucks and Broncos and stuff they might be working on, and uh, what's the electrification future of Dodge and Jeep and Ram? We'll run you through some of the run groups co- coming up at uh, the Rolex Historics as well, and talk about uh, how we're getting the car there, who we're pitting with, and uh, you guys. Come on by and say hi, by the way. We're, yeah. we're at the track. I think it'll be a great year to come out tomorrow. It's going to be a great year to come out there. All right. First, let's say about Empire Covers. Your vehicle should be treated with respect. The respect it deserves, unfortunately, the elements. They don't take vacations. They don't take days off. EmpireCarCover.com. High quality, affordable covers engineered to protect against rain, UV rays, tree sap, pollen, anything Mother Nature can throw your car's way our listeners get 15 percent off with the promo code carcast worried uh, a cover is going to do damage to the finish empire's fleece line covers prevent any scratches to your car's paint one american made good their uh their american armor covers proudly made in their kentucky factory which uh, last i checked is in the usa plus covers for rvs boats motorcycles and more it's empire covers right matt CarCast listeners can receive free shipping plus an extra 15% off your entire order. Visit EmpireCovers.com slash CarCast or just use the promo code CarCast at checkout. It's Empire Covers. Protect what you love. Yeah, get it on. Got to get it on. No choice, but they got to mandate you get it on. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for telling a friend. We love that about you. This is CarCast. I'm Adam Carolla. That is Matt, the moderator, DeAndrea, hello, over there. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things are good. Hanging around in my shop, getting some tools in there, putting a little engine together. Yeah, you Get, were uh, dropping your cam in last I spoke uh, The you. cam was in, and I was... Uh, I was uh, dialing in the cam, right? So I was degreeing the cam and 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 checking it but uh it's it's nice to be able to start to <clears throat> have uh 
have some idea of tools in one location and some tool storage and stuff. So I've been slowly acquiring a few things to fill out my garage, nice. my warehouse. It's good. All right. Well, there's lots of stuff going on. Uh, lots of Shelby American is working on a Shelby Bronco package. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff to uh, get into. A Shelby uh, F one hundred and fifty. So much to uh, so much to get into. Got a lot of electric stuff to get into. Uh, yeah, I got to tell you, with gas at five bucks a gallon, uh, the electric thing is starting to starting to look pretty good. Except for uh, the power's out this morning in my house so i don't know <laughs> really if the grid can can handle it yeah i i don't know so we're gonna have some power issues i think this summer because of the heat we're gonna have some water issues because of the drought yeah uh it's, you know it just puts more pressure on interesting because there's so much pressure in the automotive world about getting away from gas engines and getting to to electric, but when's the pressure going to start being on all of that electric, you know, what, more than it already is, going, hey, everybody needs to have solar, everybody needs to have some sort of battery backup, like, because all of these electric cars got to get plugged in someplace, and already they're telling us in California, don't use your electricity. Get an electric car, right. but don't use your electricity at home. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to start uh, holding up their side of the grid. Uh, all right, so we're getting ready to head down to uh, Monterey. Um, there's some guys from uh, JZ. JR, JRZ. JRZ, and then there's JR. JR I is a suspension company. Yeah, I'm, I'm working JRZ's with JRZ's suspension, too. That's uh, yeah, where I, the confusion I, 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 kicked in. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyway, they got a rig. Uh, they want to uh, take the Porsche. I think uh, Patrick Long's going to be in yeah. with them. Uh, they're, they're Porsche guys, I guess. I was just talked to Sean about it for ten seconds at the uh, other shop, but um, they're bringing uh, their Porsches. They want us to bring our Porsche and pit with them. O- always good to pit with sort of like-minded guys. Yeah, that's what they were saying. They're like, "Hey, just come out here. We've got some." Some pretty seasoned Porsche guys here and Porsche mechanics and and stuff. I said, you know what? Now that it's starting to align, the stars are starting to align. That that nine eleven, the 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 seventy four S, making more and more sense to be the car to bring. Yeah, and it makes a certain amount of sense to you know you don't want to be in between a couple guys that are driving javelins in the Trans Am because uh, they don't have metric tools, you know. <laughs> right, right. At some point, you may need to cop a spark plug from somebody, and it, it, it'd be nice if uh, yeah. it was nearby. Listen, if Patrick Long is in your run group, I mean, granted, he's going to get to the front of the pack very quickly, but not a bad guy to follow, mm-hmm. you know, see the line that he takes in a similar type of car. Yeah, I... I I'm not sure what he's driving, but maybe like an RSR. Or something well, he like usually that. goes out and he he hops in a couple different cars. Yeah, so, like and, seven. Yeah. <laughs> so they said that uh, he's going to be driving one of their cars for a stint. So I and I'm sure he's going to bounce around all over the place. And, and yeah, a, what a nice gig, by the way. Right, you just kind of show up. And you get to drive seven different cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's uh, who knew that was a job, but who knew podcasting was a job? Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that that'll be nice, and and yeah, if he's driving uh, something similar, and he probably will be driving something similar. I don't know what's in their fleet, but seem to I just have a feeling that he's going to be driving some RSRE type of, yeah. type of vehicle. Uh, if that's true, then it's it's close, and then you can always pick up some uh, tips from him. And what else have we heard about Monterey? Like, what's, it's, I mean, we talked about the quail a little bit. I think we'll try to get Gordon McCall on the show. But the, a theme there for one of the themes was uh, uh, a Lamborghini, like Yaramas and, and, and stuff uh, at, uh, at the quail. The yeah. track is IMSA. Yep. Right? That's yep. the theme, That's for, the, the theme. for the racing is IMSA instead of a marquee like Nissan or BMW. Mm-hmm. Uh, IMSA is the theme. Mm-hmm. Which is cool. There'll be a lot of cool uh, IMSA cars. I assume Tommy Kendall's going to come out and do do some laps in a, in a car. Well, he has that IMSA Mazda yeah. RX-7. RX-7. That did a, won a lot of races 
back then, right. and uh, I think he's got that thing dialed in now. Yeah, because he talked about bringing it out like a year before, and then he said, um, you know, he's like, I'm going to wait because I heard IMSA was going to be the theme, and then COVID hit, and then a year went by, and now IMSA's back as the theme. So I think I think he had it ready, you know, two years ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, it would be great to see him out there in that car. He'll be smoking people for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I love that guy. So, um, and might be in the same run group. Try to figure, we'll try to figure it out. I, I would assume we, we would be. They might throw him in with some of those um, Roush Mustangs and those kind of cars, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. Oldsmobiles and, and stuff like that. There's a There's a different class, which is... Not it, it. It's probably slightly newer cars, two frame cars, um, Roush Capris, Roush Mustangs. Yeah, I like the Capris a little I, bit yeah. better for some reason. It's got kind of the square nose to it, mm-hmm. uh, where the, where the lights are and stuff. It's kind of interesting, and it has kind of a like a little bit of a box flare on, mm-hmm. on the on the fenders. The yeah, Capris. it's just it, the thing that I always liked about the Capris is they just had a little little I mean the street car and the uh, race car had a little more of a euro yeah, kind of vibe yeah, it to it. And uh they used to be you're too young but when they advertised the first generation of Capris they called it the sexy European. Do you remember that? <laughs> I remember you talking about it here. I remember now coming up again uh, yes. as the sexy European. <laughs> so the run groups are uh, pre nineteen twenty exhibit uh, exhibition race. So we, we don't wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, the next one is uh, sixty six to uh, eighty five Masters Historic Formula One. Then you got uh, twenty to fifty one racing cars. Don't know what that is. Uh, then you got the 47 to 55 sports racing GT, I think, um, trying to picture those cars. Those, those are the, those are the, um, probably see like listers mm, okay. in that group, right? Yeah. Those are the guys with the big engines and the skinny tires right? and big body work kind of sawing at the wheel and sliding those things around. Yeah. Cause those are literally... Some of those cars, some of those listers, for instance, have Jag engines, and then some have uh, V8s in them. Right. And um, the guys, oh, oh, yeah, and, and like... Um, oh, Maserati? Maserati has some. But uh, some of those cars are, you know, making big horsepower on six-inch rims, That's, maybe seven-inch <laughs> rims. I yeah. don't know, pretty low... Uh, Pretty thin tires. Pretty thin tires, and uh, we see we see them at at we saw them at Goodwood as well. It's like kind of sliding around, and, and, mm-hmm. and every time the Goodwood, uh, uh, well, at Goodwood, then it revival. starts raining. <laughs> revival. They always show the videos from that. They're yeah, good. Then you have uh, fifty-five to sixty-four GT. I think that's where you're gonna see some like. Porsche 356s and stuff like that. Then you got 63 to 66 GT over 2500 CC. Uh, then my run group, which will, will be 73 to 81 FIA, IMSA, GTX, uh, GT, GTU, AA, GT, don't know what that is, FIA Manufacturers Championship cars and then 81 to 91 imza gto gtp trans am hmm then um i'm trying to just look look well, down that's the, a cool group yes yeah, 81 to 91 imza gto and trans am uh there's an there's cool. a 63 to 78 indie group to be kind of interesting um and uh a 66 to 72 trans am group yeah that's just pony car Trans Am stuff, right? Yeah. That's the traditional stuff. Um, Tommy may be running in that 81 to 91 IMSA GTO, GT, GTP yeah. Trans Am group. I I have the feeling he may be in that yeah, that, that group. That. Hey, yeah, uh, highlight that group, would you, Max Pata? Maybe um, I think that's where you see those Roush Mustangs and cars of that, that ilk. 
but um, we shall uh, we shall see. All right, um, po- possibly, but yeah, those are those 90, are those cars. Yeah, because eighty eighty seven is kind of when they started coming out up to early nineties, so that that would make sense. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, there's some. Uh, Pontiac in there, some Corvette, some uh, Oldsmobile. That's uh, that's where uh, Millen would be driving that uh, Turbo Z car. Yeah. You know that that's I think I that see group it down there in that photo. Yeah, it's a fast group. Those guys. Yeah, and uh, those are bigger cars. Those are the big cars. It's funny when you you see the listers out there in one minute, and then you see these cars out there the next. Yeah, you can walk around. You hear the difference. You're like, oh, it's what the group? It, the loud group is that. Uh, is that Pony Car Trans Am group? All those early Mustangs and Camaros and Cudas and uh, yeah, uh, what is Craig Jackson? Uh, AM, AMX. He, I think he has a Challenger. I, I think Craig Jackson also has like. A, oh, he may a, have AMC. a Challenger and an AMC or yeah. AMX yeah. or whatever. Those cars are cool. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they're just running big open. Side exhaust, no no glass <laughs> and packs just, in there. You just hear the torque. You just hear the displacement in there. You hear a lot more of the lower note, kind of the bassy tone of them, which is, uh, you know, unlike that little RX-7 that would run in your run group, that real high whining thing. Not the fastest thing. It sounds like a Banshee, but it's just not really going real fast. I mean, it's, it's fast, but not compared to some of the others in that group. And you just hear that thing whining. It's just The thing that's funny about that group not funny, haha, but they have just gobs of horsepower, but they have, you know, live rear axles. I'm talking about that Pony Car Trans Am yeah. group and, you know, 14 inch rims or, yeah, probably 14 inch maybe rims. Maybe 15. Maybe 15. I think for some reason it's 14. Anyway, yeah, maybe 15 inch rims. Not, not a ton of rubber, you know, some leaf spring That's- suspension and stuff. And a, and a guy. Like Troy Ermish in his five ten will get around that track quicker than most quicker, of those yeah. guys, uh, even though he's you know down four hundred horsepower. Yeah. It's just it's just can't get it to the ground, or they can, but I mean there, there's something about just those little five tens with the thirteen inch rims and the two hundred and five yeah. horsepower that can just, I just can just hustle those cars around. Much that track. lighter, probably far less braking into the corners, just hold a lot more momentum. Those big cars. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, even even the pony cars back then were not that that heavy, but they got to be a thousand pounds difference. Uh, yeah, I mean, if not a thousand, eight or nine hundred pounds for sure. You know, I mean, like, knocking what, on the door the, of a thousand. I'm going to guess those pony cars in race trim are around twenty eight, twenty nine hundred. Yeah, what's the five ten? Yeah, it's about eighteen, probably yeah. nineteen, yeah. nineteen five, something like that. I don't know, Max Pato. What does one of those? 70s Trans Am uh, Mustangs. What's, what does one of those things weigh in in, in uh, race trim? We'll yeah. figure it out. First, I'll tell you about Nord VPN. Oh, man. Public Wi Fi. It's a hotbed for hackers. Want to steal your data? Using Nord VPN on your phone or laptop gives you peace of mind while traveling. Chris, I know this is a big issue for you. I got hacked, Adam. Oh no! Yeah, I got hacked. I, I don't even know how it happened. I thought I'm, I was pretty savvy. Turns out I'm not as savvy as I thought. They got into my credit card. They got into my different accounts, and uh, I'm really. I wish I would have used NordVPN when that uh, that would have prevented it. Right. You know I mean? Well, now you have it, and now you have prevented yeah, it. Good now. VPNs, VPNs, I should say, have a reputation for uh, slowing down internet speed, but not with NordVPN. It's the fastest VPN in the world. You won't even notice it's running. And uh, you can put it up on uh, up to six devices. So you can cover your phone, your laptop, and everything else. 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to nordvpn.com slash carcast. Or use the code carcast to get a two-year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. All right. So uh, we'll try to figure out what those cars weigh. But, yeah, wait, man. People never... I shouldn't say never. Racers figure it in, but people, the general public, don't really understand weight and what a huge thing that is. Right. Except when you're talking about Lotus or Miata. Right. Everybody in the Lotus or Miata conversation is weight. Yep. And uh, we're talking about the Shelby F-150. They're going to 
do an F one fifty? Is are they gonna? It's the five liter. Is uh, it's gonna start at a hundred grand plus? Um, are they doing anything with the electric one fifty? They're they're not they're not yet. So basically, the Raptor we're limited right now with the Raptor on just the EcoBoost engine. So if you want the high horsepower version, the Shelby truck it, it's big. It's definitely over the top. It's got the the Fox suspension and stuff that they outfit on it. You can get the five liter engine naturally aspirated, or you can get it with the five liter engine and the like Whipple supercharger and mm-hmm. it ends up being 775 horsepower. So right now, so Ford had said, Hey, next year we're going to have a Raptor R it's a V eight, like GT 500 engine supercharged. Mm-hmm. But right now, if you want to go out and compete with say like the Ram TRX with their Hellcat engine, mm-hmm. the, the Shelby, the Shelby truck is probably where, where you're going to end up being. Um, also a new GTR Nissan announced. Well, this is, as we're starting to get into events for the summer, like Goodwood, uh, Hill Climb just happened, and there's some cars that get kind of debuted there. Um, we've got a Chicago Auto Show that I think is happening any any day now, maybe right now. Uh, Monterey's coming up soon. Uh, New York Auto Show is going to be happening. Uh, so as we start to get into this car show world, we start to hear the rumors of what's coming out again mm-hmm. soon. Actually, in August, the week after uh, Monterey, is the Z-Con event in Colorado. Mm-hmm. And I think they're going to have the first production uh, Z, new Z. Mm-hmm. So the thought on Nissan GTR for a while was the next generation GTR would be some sort of hybrid, kind of like the Acura NSX. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now they're kind of backtracking, going, well, we... C- the rumor is it could be just an engine, no electrification at all. And, and you know, like the Z is a new car, but not exactly from the ground up. It's still based loosely off the 370Z, but instead mm-hmm. of just doing a facelift and tweaking the suspension, it's heavily massaged. Mm-hmm. So that's where the GTR could be. It could be the, the existing platform essentially but heavily massaged to get you a completely new car as close to new as possible and i don't know what that means could end up in the 600 plus range you know uh still again hand built turbo six cylinder Mm -hmm. all-wheel drive it's probably going to have it needs to have the latest and modern technology which the current car is kind of lacking a little bit but uh interesting i think the idea was uh, Nissan may be moving enough fuel efficient cars that they don't have to make the GTR a hybrid mm-hmm. yet, right? Because there's one cafe standard, one mm-hmm. you know EPA standard for the entire company, mm-hmm. and the idea of <clears throat> of the GTR being a hybrid would be to also you know, hey, it's a high performance car, but now. In hybrid mode, it starts to get 20 miles per gallon, 22 miles per gallon. They might be saying they don't need to do that necessarily yet. So sort of the last version. Um, kind of could be interesting to see. here the Dodge is going to do the world's first electric muscle car. So the news from Stellantis is uh, – Stellantis is the – the renamed parent company for Fiat, Dodge, and Jeep and all that. And the big announcement this past week was, what does the future of the company look like as far as EVs? And they're, mm-hmm. they're developing a number of platforms for that are going to sort of underpin the trucks, the SUVs, the cars, and whatever. And, mm-hmm. of course, the question everyone's asking is, they're so big into muscle cars and the Hellcat engine – what does that mean for their chargers and their challengers? And they're saying uh, uh, they're saying an electric muscle car mm-hmm. is what they want to do. They want to do a charger, probably a challenger at some point, EV. And my guess is they're going to do electric variations of it like they did with their challenger. They'll, they might have a demon, a sort of a drag race version of the mm-hmm. car, and then a street car version, and like a red eye, kind of a road race version of the car. But they're talking about zero to sixty times as fast as two seconds for their high performance variants, mm-hmm. and then ranges as high as five hundred miles. Now you won't get both. You won't get a 
zero to 60, two second car in a 500 mile range, you'll get like, I don't know, 280 or 300 on that. And then you know, the less performance version will be the 500 Maybe mile range. Maybe when they come out with the drag package, uh, Leno can take D. Snyder down to the drag strip and then <laughs> yeah. D can get out of the car and watch Jay run a quarter mile. <laughs> was that a crazy episode? Yeah. What yeah. was that? I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. I, it was a uh, Jay Leno's garage. I love Jay. I love the show. I like D too. But D was talked about how big an enthusiast he was, and then they took like the Hellcat to the drag strip, and I think D just watched Jay go down the drag strip. I always thought it was weird <laughs> that D didn't drive it. I thought he was kind of a car guy. He used to live in. He had a house in a neighborhood in south florida years ago when i lived there and i mm. remember him driving a ferrari like a 308 or 328 something like that oh yeah he's a well i i guess there's there's kind of car guys and then there's car guys there's the sort of rock and roll rapper version of the car guy which is guys who made money who want cars and then there's you who didn't make any money, but likes uh, dialing in your cams on on the weekends. Yeah, and um, you know, I got room in the tent for everyone who likes who likes cars. All right, let me tell you about uh, JB Weld. JB Weld, world's strongest bond. Pros have trusted it for over fifty years. But uh, why hire a pro when uh, JB Weld can make you look like a pro yourself? We're proud to have JB Weld Epoxy Adhesive as a sponsor. I personally know the owner. These guys are good guys. They make great products. I use them all the time. And uh, it doesn't really matter if you're working on your car or you're doing crafts or plumbing or marine, whether you need it uh, for metal, wood, plastic, glass, ceramic. I've used it on everything. I've used it on Sonny's tennis shoes. I used it on some stonework in front of my house the other day. Um, I've used it. Oh, Stromer's used it on his uh, on his tile saw. We use it in the garage on the cars. JB Weld also acquired Herculiner, the original DIY truck bed liner. So if you're looking for the world's strongest truck bed liner, Herculiner has you covered, right, Matt? Yeah, you know, JB Weld is available at jbweld.com, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, Napa, O'Reilly, Amazon, Michaels, and more. And remember, JB Weld epoxy products are proudly made in the USA. JB Weld, world's strongest bond. All right, so um, Shelby's also going to breathe on the Bronco, huh? So they put out this teaser video, which was kind of interesting, and they were running a, <clears throat> and they were on a, a, a track, they're on a road course track, and they were running the, the Shelby GT500 against mm-hmm. a Bronco, and then, of course, the Bronco peels off and cuts the turn and hits the grass and right, goes right. through the dirt and the whole thing, and then they kind of tease at the end, and they're like, we should Shelby that. Mm-hmm. And uh, sort of implying, which, first of all, it, it makes the most sense, right? Like the trucks right now are outselling, you know, the, the muscle cars, you know, basically two mm-hmm. to one. Mm-hmm. In, in Shelby's world, it's probably two to one. In you know, in Ford's world, it's, you know, it's it's 10 to one. Or in Ram's world, it's 10 to one. Uh, you know, and as much as we want to wait for a Bronco Warthog, which is the Raptor version. Mm-hmm. Uh, why wouldn't uh, Shelby try to get their hands on one and do their do their version of it? Mm-hmm. You know, do a like whatever their post title package kind of thing. I mean, it stands to reason like you'll see a Celine Bronco or a Roush Bronco. Why not a Shelby Bronco as well? Yeah. Uh, well, look, um, Shelby is going to breathe on just about everything they can breathe on. Eventually, yeah, you know, and everyone wants the high performance version of of every of everything that's out there. I mean, you know, it's been something that's it's been around. It's funny. It's 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 been around with American manufacturers for a long time. You could get this car with the three ninety engine versus the straight six or whatever. There's always been that thing where. You could upsell the package for whatever, the Camaro, the Mustang, whatever that was. It's funny. I, as I think about it, they didn't really do that with Euro- European cars mm-hmm. or Japanese cars. Like, you know, if back in the day, if you wanted a 240Z, you got a 240Z. That's what it was. Right, your, right. your choice was 
standard versus automatic, although I don't even know if they had an automatic because I have never seen a 240Z with hmm. an automatic, ever. I, I don't know if it was available. I, yeah. I, I'm wondering if the automatic didn't come in until the 280ZX, Maxipata, one more thing to uh, look at, <laughs> but... Think about yeah. Did an a two forty Z ever have an automatic? I, That's an easy Wikipedia. I thing. can't. I can't picture it. Yeah. So you think you know it wouldn't be the majority of them, but maybe twenty twenty percent of them would have it. And if that's true, we would have come across it by now. I'm trying to even kind of picture the console, you know. So Europeans and Americans just sort of had their car. Uh, sorry, Europeans and Japanese just sort of went, here's the car right. we built, you can have it or not. But Americans have always done the thing where we put the package into the car. I mean, yeah. in many performance issue, uh, many performance platforms, you know, kind of going back, like if you talk to Leno, he'll tell you this is a 66 GTO, but this one has the 390 whatever in it or right. whatever. You know, it's always upsell package. It's kind of interesting that we never really, you never saw that really out of, I mean, maybe, you know, Porsche did different models to some degree, yeah. but, and, and on kind of the same platform, but you didn't have them doing the engines and the transmissions and the the, the suspension stuff, it, n- at least not back yeah. in the day. Yeah, when did the packages, like you're talking about, like what Lena would be talking about, become different models almost exclusively, right? Like, I mean, I guess not necessarily. Like, still the Mustang, you can get a Mustang, like, EcoBoost, and you can get a GT, and then you can get, like, the high-performance pack or track pack or something for those. So I yeah. guess we still do a little bit of have that on the muscle car world. They had, like, you know, you could get a 914, you could get a 1.7 <clears throat> or 1.8, a 2-liter, and then at some point you get a 914.6. So I guess that is an example of a sort of platform with, yeah. with different yeah. engines in it. But somehow it felt different. Uh, the 240Z had a three-speed automatic outside of the U.S. and a five-speed manual outside of the U.S., but yeah, never so only, didn't bring them here. Yeah, huh? it was only offered outside the U.S. Yeah. The U.S. only had four-speed manual. Right. Yeah, right. That's that, what I was going to guess. That it, makes it, sense. It makes sense. Because I've never seen a five-speed, I mean, that someone didn't swap out. Right. Or... Uh, an automatic. All right, what do you got, man? Tell you guys about Good Guys. Good Guys Rod and Custom Association is coming to Puyallup, Washington. It's the 33rd Griot's Garage Pacific Northwest Nationals at the Washington State Fair Event Center. It's July 23rd through the 25th. There's going to be over 2,500 classic cars and trucks on display with a burnout competition in vintage dragster racing. Love that nitro. Make you cry. Uh, bring out the whole family. It's going to be fun, live entertainment. There's a pinstriper brush bash going on. There's a model car display. There's a whole kids uh, kids zone there. It's all free for the kids. There's a giant swap meet as well, and the Cars for Sale Corral with hundreds of classic cars. Tickets are on sale now at goodguys.com. It's good-guys.com. It's free admission for kids six and under. And if you use promo code CARCAST, you get $5 off a spectator ticket. It's goodguys.com. Um, promo code CarCast. All right. So uh, what else? We got uh, electric, electric, electric stuff. Right. So we're talking up. about the Dodge stuff, right? We talked about the uh, electric uh, uh, Dodge muscle cars coming out. Um, it's funny because they ran their teaser video, and at the end, they're like, performance made us do it. My mm-hmm. first thought was, oh, the government made you do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, let's go with performance. Um, and in the Jeep lineup, they have the the four XE hybrids, right? So there's mm-hmm. the four XE Jeep Wrangler, but then there's going to be the new Jeep Wagoneer four XE, a, a Grand Cherokee four XE, and your favorite, the Compass. Oh get yeah, get yourself a Compass four XE so you can get the Compass hybrid. I like the uh, taillights. <laughs> is that the taillights with the axe? Oh, like is, the that, drunk is, that, wait, is that the Renegade? Maybe it's the Renegade. Renegade. I can't Which one? Remember. It looks like like the little dead. Like uh, it looks like a guy who passed out because he drank too yeah. much and died. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how they do the eyes. That's how they do it. Um, and of course, 
Ram is going to have an all-electric uh, a truck, a uh, Ram 1500. Naturally, that was going to be coming. GM as well. GM because of the Hummer. Mm-hmm. And, uh, they're going to have a, a, a truck that's going to be doing that. But uh, the Ram where, all electric. Let me ask you about that Hummer. Where is that Hummer? It's been a year plus. <clears throat> they did a whole big campaign for it. And I don't know, LeBron James may have been involved. And they're using Led Zeppelin songs. And it was all... Is it a year? Wasn't the first commercial on the Super Bowl? I think the, f- I, you know, I may be, I may be screwing it up because it, I may be LeBron James. I may be thinking basketball, but maybe. But when did they run that? How much does a Trans Am GTX weigh? <laughs> 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 yeah, with driver and a full <laughs> tank of gas and full fluids. Um. It, it can't be. It, I feel like that Hummer's been around for a year now, but we'll 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 see if we can we'll see if we can figure it out. Yeah, they they introduced it, uh, or the commercials were playing during the World Series of last year the, in October. Uh huh. So that's where. That's where I feel like it. it went back even before that, or maybe we just saw it online before that. Yeah, they've been teasing it oh, they, for a while. Yeah, they and, had a Super Bowl ad in twenty twenty as well. Um, yeah. And even before that, well, he- I think it's coming out um, uh, next year. I think like the Lightning is going to come out. I think next year. I think the 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 EV the Hummer might be before it. Uh, but they they're trying to keep the news fresh because they debuted that uh, you know the pickup truck version four door, and now there's the SUV version that they're going to be doing as well. Yeah, I'm I'm just seeing fall 2021 still. Really? Yeah. Ex- availability is expected to begin in fall 2021. The company recently invested $2.2 billion in the plant to produce these v- vehicles. I-, I would say yes if we can get up to speed on things with the chip shortage, right? Mm-hmm. Which is the other thing. Like Ford just announced they got some chips in. They're trying to put them in all the F-150s naturally because – they sell the most F-150s and they're the most profitable. And at some point, the company that hasn't been able to sell cars needs to make some money. So I think uh, the trucks are going to hit the – the current lineup of trucks are going to get chips first and fulfill those orders. So <clears throat> I don't know. I mean the chip shortage is, hits like the Camaro – I'm sorry, not the Camaro, the, the Corvette C8. And I think – they're not going to make C8s probably for the rest of this year. They're just going to start focusing on 22s. Like whatever they have, they're going to finish and sell. But they're going to say, hey, but with the chip shortage, those are going to go to trucks and SUVs and things you know, that mm-hmm. are higher volume that it, we might find that this year ends up being a limited run of C8 Corvettes. Um, oh, the Corvette. Yeah. yeah. And Camaro. But um, yeah, but nobody's buying that. No one's anyway. buying that. The, the the Corvettes are selling, right? I feel like I see those around. The Corvettes, and they're really good. Like people are just keep talking more and more about them, saying that uh, just a great all around comfortable car to drive, and mm-hmm. then the performance just beats anything in its price. Right. right. And, oh yeah, and, and way more. Yeah. All right, take care of your Geico there. Geico, do you guys own your home or you rent your home? Well, either way, it can be a lot of hard work, but you know what's easy? It's bundling your policies with Geico. Geico makes it easy to bundle your homeowner's or renter's insurance along with your auto policy. And we know that's a good thing because you already have so much to do around your home already. So just go to geico.com and get a quote and see how much you can save. It's Geico easy. Visit geico.com today. All right. Um, What else? So we... uh, Took the uh, 911 uh, Newman Sebring car and we dropped the front end an inch and it's uh, helped a lot. At least it looks better. I don't know how much it's <laughs> I don't helped. know how it handles. Uh, All the alignment's off now. <laughs> it's got the uh, JZ I shocks in it. JRZ. Uh, JRZ. JRI. Yeah. I don't think it has JRI. JRZ. That's it has JRZ. That's what it's uh, got in it. So uh, hopefully we'll get that car kind of shaken out a little bit should be ready to go although i say that every year so we never know shake out mean like nah. donuts in the home depot parking lot <laughs> yeah. or yeah i always it's always this time of year where i have some notions of oh we'll take that thing up to willow and we'll get it up to temperature <laughs> yeah. it never happens 
Look, these days with the RWD por- RWB Porsches and stuff on the street, I-, I say you just drive it to the house in La Cunata. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is a lot of, lot of heavy mods on a lot of Porsches out there right? these days. It's just... Big flares with Zeus fittings on them. I'm telling you, you wouldn't think twice, especially in the Porsche world and, uh, you know, in modern day like BMW body kits. I think you, you could drive that car mm-hmm. home... You never get it up your driveway, but like you could drive it over to the to the other warehouse or something and put the uh, just take the license plate off my car and just put it on the dashboard. <laughs> just do it that way. Yeah, just do it that way. You yeah, tape, tape it to the back of the wing. Yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna need to turn a few hot laps around the neighborhood in that thing just to just to <laughs> see how it, it tracks. Well, you know? here's the thing: is like around the neighborhood is fine, but uh, so you can get a little bit of that that stop and go, but. You don't like the. It's not the kind of car. You know, racing cars suck when they're sitting at stoplights. Right. So that's why I was like, stretch its leg on the, you know. Yeah, we'll go for a cannonball run. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, that. I mean, don't take it to Malibu from here. Right. (laughs) There's a bit of traffic. You're gonna run into a few things, but it might be interesting to get the car up the temp. And it's tough to do that by doing laps around the studio. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. Should at least hop on the freeway for a couple of yeah, a couple of exits. Yeah, maybe I don't know about lowering the nose before you did it. Maybe you should have done that first. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But you know, you want to. One of the main things you want to do, or at least I want to do, is I just want to drive the car in a straight line and let go of the steering wheel. That's what wheel I'm saying. That's why the freeway is perfect between here and, and the house. Trim it out a little bit and yeah, uh, see what it's doing and. T- tap the brake without touching the steering wheel and just see if it's pulling. That's it. That's exactly. I always do that. I, I get on a nice open road to see if it's going straight, and then start leaning into the brakes to see if it breaks straight. Is it pulling to the left or right under braking as well? You know? Right. And at least that gets you a pretty good, pretty good benchmark. All right. Let me hit uh, Roman here. Squeaky doors, clogged sink. Got a Porsche pulling to the left or the right. Mm. Well, you fix it. That's what uh, dudes do when things break. But when something's off in the bedroom, then you try not to think about it. Go to GetRoman.com slash CarCast. Do it now for free online evaluation for ongoing care for ED from the comfort and the privacy of your own home. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan if medication is appropriate. It's sent to you with free two-day shipping. Getting started is simple. Just go to Get roman.com slash carcast and complete the online visit take care of your ed without leaving your home get roman.com slash carcast right man yeah go to get roman.com slash carcast now and you'll get 15 percent off your first month it's really time to take care of your ed and remember get started today and you'll save 15 dollars on your first order of ed treatment all right uh raleigh i'll be there uh good night's comedy club that'll be tonight and tomorrow so uh, still some tickets left there. Do a live podcast. Do some stand-up there. Kyle Dunnigan is going to join us uh, for the live pod uh, as well. So uh, check that out. Come say hi. Hang out. Talk cars after the show. Why not? Minneapolis is coming up. Royal Oak, Michigan is coming up. Kansas City, Missouri is coming up. Um, there's shows all over the place. So just go to adamcroll.com and you can check out our chassis channel on Pluto TV. Tons of great automotive content there. And it's all free on channel 687. What do you got, Matt? Uh, just follow us at, uh, at Motorator on social media and drink Bravago on social media. All right. So until next time, it's Adam Carolla for Matt, the Motorator, DeAndrea saying, keep the air in the spare and the bag in the wheel. For the latest updates and call-in times, follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at CarCast Show. If you'd like to write in, fill out the form on CarCastShow.com. And don't forget to give us a nice rating on iTunes. CarCast is a Corolla digital production and is produced by Chris Loxamana. For more information, visit CarCastShow.com.
Hey, movie lovers, who needs a theater when you have Pluto TV? Grab your popcorn and your streaming device because free movies are here. Pluto TV is your home for movies. Great movies are playing anytime in over 20 exclusive movie channels of action, horror, rom-coms, and more. Watch hits like Saving Private Ryan, Pretty in Pink, and Charlie's Angels all for free. No signups, no fees, no contracts. Ever. Download the free Pluto TV app on any device. Hey, Geico, do you own? Do you rent? Well, you do one or the other, right? You know, it's hard work out there. Owning, renting, you want to save some money? How about you bundle? Bundle your policies at GEICO. GEICO makes it easy to bundle the homeowners or renters insurance along with your auto policy. It's a good thing, too, because you got so much to do already. Go to GEICO.com, get a quote, see just how much you could save at GEICO. That is GEICO.com today. That's GEICO.com. Hey, it's Adam Carolla from the Adam Carolla Show. The tournament is finally here, and Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this year's tournament. Bet Online has the best bracket contests, odds, and lines on every game, every round, right up till the national championship. You can access the most up to most up to the minute, I should say, wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile devices, and You can even track your bracket in real time all the way through the tournament. Whether it's college or pro hoops, BetOnline has it all throughout the entire college and pro hoops season. Head to BetOnline today and stay updated on all the action. BetOnline, the game starts here. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are the greatest, but let me play devil's advocate here. Let's see. So, no, that's a good thing. Uh, (laughs) <laughs> That's definitely not a problem. Uh, Reese's, you did it. You stumped this charming devil. 